Hello children, welcome to the Obinish Ranti YouTube channel. So today we are going to understand the story of the very famous play Dr. Faustus by Christopher Marlowe. Okay. The story goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a very clever man named Dr. Faustus. He was so smart that he knew everything there was to know about the world. But even with all his knowledge, he felt like something was missing in his life. One day, Faustus got an idea. He thought, what if I could learn magic? I could do amazing things and have even more knowledge. So, Faustus decided to study magic. He read ancient books and practiced spells until one day something incredible happened. A mischievous little creature named Mephistopheles appeared. Mephistopheles was a devil and he could do magical things too. Mephistopheles told Faustus that he could have anything he wanted but in exchange Faustus had to give his soul to the devil after 24 years. Faustus was excited and agreed, not realizing the seriousness of his decision. With Mephistopheles by his side, Faustus started doing all sorts of magical tricks. He could make things appear and disappear, fly in the air and even travel to faraway places instantly. But as the years passed, Faustus began to see, feel sad. He realized that all the magic in the world couldn't make him truly happy. He missed the simple joys of life like the warmth of the sun and the laughter of friends. As the day of reckoning approached, Foster grew more and more afraid. He didn't want to give his soul to the devil, but he had made a promise and he had to keep it. On the night when the devil was supposed to take his soul, Faustus was filled with regret. He begged for mercy and asked for a chance to repent for his mistakes, but it was too late. In the end, Faustus was taken away by the devil and his magical powers couldn't save him. His story became a cautionary tale reminding people that it's it's important to be content with what we have and not to make deals with devils. So as that's the story of Dr. Faustus by Christopher Marlowe. It's a tale of magic, regret and the consequences of our choices.